Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we are in a city which not long ago was shocked by two major earthquakes of 7.1 and 6.3 magnitude in February 2010 and September 2011, causing widespread damage and killing 185 people. The resilient people of this city, who call it their home, rebuild the city. The city is now the top tourist attraction in South New Zealand. There is so much to explore and enjoy. This is Colonel Shahid Beg, and in this vlog, we will share our experience about the gondola ride. There are three ways to get from Christchurch Central City to Christchurch Gondola. That's by bus, taxi, or car. The bus stand, which in New Zealand is called bus exchange, is located in the heart of the city. We looked around and find the ticketing counter right in front of us. We got our day pass for the bus, which cost us New Zealand dollar ten. per person besides the ticketing counter we found that this bus exchange or in our words the bus stand has everything you need such as a very nice bakery atm machine air conditioned environment buses arrive and parked along the specified boarding gates prompt announcement made about their arrival and departure bus follow strict timings the bus arrived on time the boarding process was very swift and smooth the bus driver greeted all passengers with a smile we noticed that the buses were in immaculate condition the bus ride from the center city interchange took us 20 minutes up to the Christ Church gondola which is located at the bridle path Heathcote Valley in Christ Church We purchased the tickets for the gondola ride which cost us New Zealand dollar 42 per person Now we have to wait for our turn. This summit is 445 meters above the sea level. The course for gondola is 1000 meters in length and it takes about 20 minutes to reach the top. The ride opened in October 1992 at a cost of New Zealand dollar 11.5 million This gondola ride includes 19 cabins and has a capacity of 812 travelers per hour Each cabin can accommodate 4 persons In February 2016 the gondola broke down with passengers trapped in the cabin for 2 hours without communication from the operator after this incident the company installed a speaker system into all cabins at a cost of new zealand dollar 50000 so that communication to stuck passengers become possible so now you don't have to worry about that situation the gondola was also closed for 2 years following the 211 Christchurch earthquakes which was reopened in March 
observation desk is on the upper floor from where you can see across the city of Christchurch, the Canterbury Plains, the Southern Apps, Littleton Harbor, and even the Pacific Ocean. The summit station offers plenty to entertain. You may go down to explore the many walking tracks. Learn the history of the area on the Christchurch Discovery Ride. There is a nice bakery which offers snacks, coffee and soft drinks. When we open the glass doors of the upper deck just to enjoy the scenic view from open to our surprise there was a 50 to 60 knots of wind blowing it was so strong that uh, for most of the people it was hard to keep their balance on the deck just to enjoy and feel the strength of the wind we tried to stand on the deck for a couple of minutes but this wind was so cold and so strong that we decided finally to come back behind the glass doors of this deck. There is a gift shop full of carry home souvenirs. Now it's time to go back. So we entered the departure area from where we are going to get a gadilla going downwards.
This is the point where you can check uh, your photographs. You can buy the booklet for a cost of New Zealand dollar 40. The buses run every 15 minutes, so we are waiting outside for the next bus, which will take us back downtown uh, Christchurch. We will appreciate if you like, share, and subscribe so that we can continue with our hard work to bring more and more such videos. And once again, as ever, thank you for watching. Until next video.